What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Andrew, and we're bringing another TM Moderation Gaming Podcast for all you guys, and we also have... Yo, what is up there, guys? My name's Sean, aka Doc Feel Hot on Xbox, and today, the topic of this podcast is how, well, all how many gaming networks have popped up on YouTube, and how easily you can get partnership by them. Well, so. That's... Oh, it's, it's not easy, but there's some people who are crap that do make it on there, which kind of bothers me. Yeah, uh, well, the thing is that many, many, many gaming networks get popped up easily because I've searched through YouTube, and most of them are crap, and they the requirements that they want, and they partner people, they're, the people that they're partnering don't even meet the requirements. And you're just there, and you're just like, why? 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 Are, why are they partnering people when they don't even meet the requirements that they want? And my question really is that, why is there so many gaming networks and why is YouTube letting them actually partner people that are basically shit? So the, how do you think about that, man? How do you think about that? Um, well, to be honest, I've only seen only a few guys who are really shit, but I don't, I don't really look... A, a lot on YouTube for people that I don't know. I don't look at people that, you know, I only subscribe to people who I, who I like. And uh, it's, it's just, I haven't seen many. But, uh, yeah, you're right. They are out there. They are cra- Some of them are crap. But it's not to say that every single one of them are crap. A lot of them are pretty good. And, uh, yeah, it's true that YouTube does partner some of them that are really bad. And uh, I think it's harsh because there's some guys who, do, who, who don't get partnerships that are really, really good. And uh, that's that's something that really bothers me, but uh, I don't know. So you mean like me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you, Sean. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's not really YouTube. It's not really YouTube partnering people. It's what YouTube does to gaming networks. That the gaming networks ask YouTube if they can have a contract where they can partner anyone they want. All they have to do is sign a contract, and they just send to YouTube, and they'll just give it partner automatically without verifying who the person is. And what's bothering me about this is that it's it's just that YouTube, it's not YouTube, well, the game networks that are created is that there's too much out there. YouTube is giving contracts oh, yeah. out to you- anyone that has a gaming network. Well, not anyone, but, like, most YouTube of them that I've flooded. seen... YouTube is yeah. flooded with uh, gaming networks such as ours, but uh, it's just they're, they're so flooded because it's such a big uh, success for some people, and you know so, some actually make money off of it, which is great. But and some of them actually do this for a full-time job. You know they're actually working on videos nine hours a day. Um, like I can, I can give you some examples, but I don't want to name names for this. So whatever. There, and if you do find a good guy, like so, someone that you really like on YouTube. Subscribe to him, support him, and uh, if they're good, you know, support them. But if if they're not good, you know, you can just spam them with crap and uh, don't support them. <laughs> that's the, that's the way you can do. It. But uh, you know, sometimes you can leave your opinions to yourselves because uh, you know some people that are good and someone else's opinion is uh, you know it's just their opinion. But some usually when they're when people are crap, uh, a lot of people find that they're still crap. Doesn't. <laughs> doesn't really matter who yeah it's i'm not saying that everyone's crap but i'm saying some networks bring out people with amazing talent and yeah. should get recognized more yeah. but a lot of people that are on a gaming network are basically i don't know people that make it for the money or and it's just like i don't know maybe they have they have connections with that or they're just some people just do it for the money and some actually do it because they like making videos and if they do make money it's kind of like just a bonus yeah you can have people that are really successful and are really good making for the money because it's their jobs but some people that are actually game networks are partnering them are actually i don't know i've seen a lot of game networks partner people with a couple of subscribers daily views are like 20 to 100 and that's not even meeting the requirements that are actually given out by these gaming networks Cause you can search on YouTube gaming networks and you'll find tons of results with these gaming networks where they just partnership application and you can get partnered right away. And it's 
I just find it's, I don't know, it's just, it's it, just, it's ruining YouTube and the yeah. way you can partner easily, or that's the way that you can get partnered. Because YouTube, a couple of years ago, you can apply for a partnership and they would tell you yes or no. There was no game networks except for Machinima. That was the only game network back then. And I think about a year ago, YouTube take, took the partnership application off the table because too many people were sending in applications that were not uh, m that not met the requirements. And if you want to get partnership with YouTube manually without a game network, you would have to follow a lot of steps to actually get YouTube's attention. And yeah, that's that's pretty much what it is. So, what are your thoughts on that, man? Oh man, I just it's so it's so tough. It's so like I'm 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 gonna go a little off topic, but let's just say like look at your channel, Sean. Your channel's pretty big. Or it's 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 not bad, you know, but um will YouTube partner you? Most likely not. Uh that's that, that's the way I look at it. And if you look at my channel it's pretty damn small, but I just do it because I can. And let's say uh uh, I'm I'm probably never gonna want to want to partnership with YouTube because what what's really the point, you know? And uh, you know, it, well, if you are partnered with YouTube, it does help a lot. But is it really required to make that good of a video? You can make the beauty of the video yourself. You don't have to be partnered. You don't have to worry about being partnered. And if you do get partnered with YouTube, great. And um, those who are partnered on, with with YouTube, congratulations. But, uh, you know, my my channel is small, as I said, and uh, I know Sean's channel is, your, your channel is pretty big in uh, terms of views, but um, I don't know. I know, for um, for getting partnership with YouTube, there is, uh, yeah, we're going a little bit off topic, but for getting partnership with YouTube, there is only, I think, only two things you can get that it's not on a regular channel. You can make money. And you can get a partnership banner. And right. that's basically the two things that you get. But there's another way to get money without getting partnership, and that's AdSense. And right now I can tell you do not do not do not get AdSense if you're a gamer and trying to get a partnership because AdSense is a trap to get or uh, it's it's a trap because most of the stuff you can't monetize because it's copyrighted by gaming companies. Some of the stuff is isn't copyrighted, but oh, most yeah. of the stuff is copyrighted I'm... because sorry, go ahead. AdSense. It's AdSense, but I don't know because if you want, if you have AdSense and you're trying to get partnership, and if you actually get partnership, it takes a couple of months to actually get rid of AdSense and to get YouTube partnership uh, to get YouTube partnership re revenues. Because with AdSense, the thing is that you have to reach, well, an amount to for them to actually pay out. And yeah. for YouTube, is every month they pay out for yeah. the money. And for small channels that have partnership, it's not, it's not really big. It's not really big deal because they're not making a lot of revenues. Because you have to get a certain amount of views to actually get a dollar in a revenue. Because that's. I think it's a buck if you get a thousand views per day, and if you get a thousand views or more per day, it's you just go like two bucks or more, something like that. But for small channels, it would be it would be useless to get a partnership and wait till you get big so you get you can actually earn revenues. But the thing I want YouTube to put for everyone is to put the partnership banner because that would be really cool for everyone to have it, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, it it would be cool. And do you you want? To, I'll tell you one thing that really pissed me off. What you need to be a partner to be on YouTube is to choose your own thumbnails. You should have the capability to choose your own thumbnails, whether you're a partner or not. Oh, yeah, that's what I forgot to say. I, I knew I forgot to say something about it, but I I just couldn't think about it. It's ah oh, man, it's. Like it's it's one thing that pissed me off the most about YouTube, and that's the only reason why I want to be a partner with with YouTube is not just you do have access to more on YouTube, but to like when, when it comes to um, making vids and stuff. But I all I want is to be able to put my own damn thumbnail in. 
Yeah, like, that I want. That I want it to actually have a banner because the banner it looks so sexy on your channel. Yeah. <laughs> With the banner is like, uh, the the banner is just like on on top, and you click onto like uh, visit me on Facebook, right, kind of thing. Yeah, you can put all sort of links, and you can make yeah, it look fair, like fair. it's uh, you can put like yeah, it and make it like it looks good. So. Yeah, it looks very good and sexy, as you said. Um. It, oh man, it's 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 still pissing me off. It's still getting me going. I just I want to be able to post my own damn thumbnails. What? Why? 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 <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna know, stop. I'm gonna have to stop ranting about that. That's just the way YouTube is, and I don't know YouTube. With this YouTube, I don't know. Maybe they grow even more, and they can they support even more. But I just find that YouTube should put a requirement on gaming networks you cannot just get like okay i created the channel with a gaming network and i could just like you can't just get a you can you can't just get a contract right away to partner whoever you want you got to get a certain amount of views to actually get that contract because yeah. you, you see a lot of gaming at well i see a lot of gaming networks that are small and that have partnership right away and that can partner whoever they want but they're very small and no one actually sees them yeah. If you're big enough, you should be able to get that contract if you're a gaming network. If you're small, you should wait a while. And if YouTube approaches you or if you ask YouTube to actually get a contract, you got to get a reach. You got to reach some requirements to get actually that contract. And that, that that's what pisses me off about the gaming networks and YouTube and pretty much everything that's gaming related on YouTube because you get you see everything just popping up at these random places and you're just there you're making your hardest work possible you're probably not that big or you're average and you want to get partnership but you just you don't you meet the it requirements. just doesn't happen <laughs> yeah sometimes you meet the requirements but there's other stuff that's i don't know that's blocking you i, I don't know what exactly that. that youtube looks at but i'm sure it's more than just like video views and subscribers right i'm, I'm sure they look at your videos oh and, well yeah. it's not youtube it's not what youtube looks for well youtube does look for stuff but it, they look for bigger bigger stuff like if you go to gaming networks and you try to a gaming network and you try to apply for a partnership it would say probably uh probably average 750 views a day uh no copyright strikes a minimum of uh, I think something subscribers and and uh, I think it's other. And you have to be you have to post at least uh, I think around 15 videos and you have there's tons of requirements but most of them are really easy to get and yeah that's just the way they work. Yeah, uh, I just oh man, like I don't I don't make many videos like I I may, I may make one like two three a week so. Uh, yeah, me too. I try to I try to keep schedule. Yeah. So, I the thing is with me, I I have no schedule, and I just post out videos that I think would be good to like bring to the channel. And late, lately, I've only been posting like Diablo three stuff because that's what I've been playing, right? And yeah, uh, that's, that that's what you want to post on your channel. Yeah. And currently, a lot of people aren't watching a lot of Diablo three stuff because Diablo three right now is crap because uh, Blizzard put out a very unpolished game and all that stuff and pe people just don't like it and I'm sure some people would wouldn't really want to look at Diablo 3 stuff right now because it's just not a game that they're interested in because whatever and I'm just I'm I'm, I'm posting that crap because I love Diablo 3 right now and uh I haven't been playing it uh the past few days but uh whatever and that's you can post you can post whatever you want on your channel some Sometime people are going to come and watch it, and you're going to have tons and tons of fans that like your content. The, and the, it, it might might take some time, but you'll get it eventually if you post videos you want, and you post this, you have like a schedule. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to bring up a point, and it's just uh, <laughs> some like some some channels they put out stuff that's like hot new, not not what they want to actually put out. But it's just something that they want to uh, they bring put to out the for channel because it's new, and they're just like, well, yeah. they put out for they revenue. They put yep. out for money. Yep. Something's hot and new. They put it out right away. They get tons and tons of money. Yep. 
they don't want you know, everyone's it, looking but... for uh, you know stuff on whatever game. Like when Skyrim came out, Skyrim was the shit. Oh man, and uh, and I take. Look! Look at someone like in our position, right? We're we're in the teenage position where we don't have money that we can just go out and spend on the first day. Whenever a big game comes out, we go boom! We got the game. We come in and then, and then we start making videos. No, it it takes like a week or two for us to get the game later on, and uh, we can only get a certain amount of games. And it's not like you know we have the money to just spend out on all sorts of games. So I. I try to buy the game that I'll be playing the longest. And Diablo 3 for me was a replacement for uh, World of Warcraft, the new uh, expansion that's coming out that I think is just absolutely retarded. Uh, Mr. Pandaria. And that's a train passing by my house. <laughs> Man, I can hear that thing from a mile away, I swear. Well, you are in Texas, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, well, that's the reason why I'm playing Diablo 3. If if, if anyone asks me why are you still playing Diablo 3, it's to replace World of Warcraft. I'm not playing that thing when freaking when that new expansion comes out. They they come like they come out with a new expansion every damn year awesome. just to just just to bring people back. Just like the way uh, Call of Duty is bringing people back every year by um, making shitty games by yeah. by making another game. You know, interest goes down after the game comes out, and then the next year comes. Uh, they come out with another game and the interest goes back up again. But anyways, we're not we're going way off topic, aren't we? Yeah, gaming networks. <laughs> gaming networks on YouTube. Uh, that's oh oh that that surprisingly brought a new uh car topic conversation. The um YouTube the uh the YouTube community is also flooded with Call of Duty crap. Yeah, you can say you can say a lot of Call of Duty because most of the stuff that uh, popular YouTubers out there they post Call of Duty because basically, I don't know. I've heard a couple of them have contracts with Infinity War or um, Activision to to put bigger to put their content out and basically spread out so more people come and play it. And I don't know. That's just how they make revenues or well, they make their money. Yeah, and because yeah. they're big, so. People will watch it when it's brand new, and they'll probably go out and buy it. So, yeah. Um. That's. Oh man. Okay. When it comes to actually looking up any sort of uh, content on um, uh, and and any content on Call of Duty, you can check that kind of shit out on uh, Google Trends. It's actually lowered. Like I checked that out the the other day, uh, for for Google Trends. It shows um. It shows how the interest in Call of Duty is diminishing, and it's just because they're keep putting out these crap games. People aren't gonna buy that crap. <laughs> yeah, you have to wait. A, you have to wait a couple of years to actually put out a game yep. that's actually solid. Yeah, that, I I think they're gonna have to give up on the idea of uh, the Call of Duty genre. And people oh. who are putting out a lot of Call of Duty stuff, like I know you put out a lot of Call of Duty stuff there, Sean, but um, I think the interest in that is also going to be going down. So I think we're going to be moving to stuff like um, uh, like this hundred is coming out soon. That that's going to be a big game that I'm going to want to put out on my channel because it seems like it's actually going to have some form of a story. Yeah, well, so I I post some Call of Duty stuff, but I really don't. I really don't want. I really don't post a lot of Call of Duty stuff because basically I've I don't like that game anymore. <laughs> it's Oh man, Call of Duty! I just, it bothers me. Like it just bothers me that they're putting putting it out there in our faces and FPS. It's just, I switched from Call of Duty to Crisis a few months ago, and I find that Crisis on the PC is an absolutely stellar and beautiful game compared to Call of Duty. Yeah. Well, they what they have to do is just they have to wait a couple of years and release on. Probably a final Call of Duty to finish the whole thing off because really it's just they can't think of anything new and they just pretty much have to stop it. Yeah, and so, so that's also going to diminish the um, you know stuff on Call of Duty that you're going to be seeing on YouTube because I know that a lot of the stuff on YouTube 
Call of Duty. It's the biggest. It's, it's the biggest it, gaming thing yeah. on YouTube. It's and searching. People search Call of Duty. That's the first thing you search, and after it's Minecraft. So yeah, Minecraft is coming up there. But one thing that I really hate about some of the Call of Duty content out there is uh, quick scopes, no scopes, 360 off a building, headshot. Uh, yeah, you, you see once a lot in of a that. like a thousand games, shit, and that's and that's all people want to see. Yeah, and that's what basically Game Networks uh, post on their channel. It's Call of Duty stuff, uh, Minecraft stuff, and, I don't know, some other stuff, but it's mainly Call of Duty. I, I like some of the Minecraft stuff, because, you know, Minecraft is a very creative game. If you want to play that game, you have to be creative. It is. And you have it's, to very, it's very good. And, you know, you have to have your own ideas. You know, you can copy people on what you want to do, but it's not as fun, you know, m making your own stuff. But, um, anyways, it's like... The one thing that bothers me the most about Call of Duty on YouTube is that fucking, like, crap about uh, 360 no-scopes and uh, 200 kills in one game kind of thing. That that bothers me. Yeah. Okay, so, so look at me. I could, <laughs> I could spray UMP, like, all my ammo and then just, you know, replenish it with uh, one one-man army and get, like, 200 kills by camping yeah, behind this place. It's all yeah, about yeah. the M60, and you just spray it, and just, like, try spray. and get as many kills as you want. Yeah. But, I don't know, we, we went we went way off topic right now, man. Yeah. Uh, so, you're going to have to bring us on to on topic. Go ahead. Bring us on. Yeah, back. so, we've, we, we've then we put the Game Networks in the Call of Duty thing, too, because they post mainly the stuff that they post is Call of Duty, because that's basically the trend on YouTube. Yep, that's that's the trend right now. It's all about Call of Duty. You would search most of the gameplay is Call of Duty because Call of Duty is probably the biggest thing for the gaming world. Yep. Uh, that's probably what it is. But the and question is, is what do, like gamers that don't want to play Call of Duty, what what do they play? I know. Well, I I really I I like Call of Duty, but that's not my number one thing. Like what I like the most. The game I like the most, well, the series is probably Gears of War, or basically, yeah, Gears of War or NHL games. Like, NHL I like sports games. Yeah. Game. I That's... like sports games, and I like Gears of War, a third-person shooter. Like, if I had to pick between a first-person and a third-person, I would probably pick a third-person because I don't know. You have it looks it looks better than a first-person. I know that's just my opinion. Everyone has got their opinion. Like, you probably like. Gaming on a PC better, right? Yeah. Well, like if I'm if I'm gonna play an FPS, like nowadays if I'm playing an FPS, I'm gonna be playing on a PC, um, so I can, so I can play stuff like Crisis. But if I'm going to go play on a console, I'm most likely gonna be ending up playing something like Halo, which is great if you have an Xbox 360. Yeah, you can you can still you can still people people have gaming networks still post that sort of stuff. Like they put a wide. Some of the game networks have a wide variety of stuff. Like, for example, Machinima, that's probably the biggest thing out there for a gaming network. Yep. And it's got to be the biggest gaming network on YouTube. It is YouTube. the biggest network. It has. They it changed, has to be. They probably, that's, 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 they changed YouTube with the game networks. Cause I'm, sure years, they're lo I'm sure they're happy that they, had, that they accepted Machinima, eh? <laughs> yeah, because two years, wait. I think it's like two years, uh, two years ago or a year ago. There was no gaming networks out there except Machinima. And a year ago, that's when YouTube accepted these random contracts to partner whoever they want for with game networks because there's that's probably what they want. They they probably want another Machinima, and they're scroungering out there that's, looking for another Machinima. That's probably what they're looking for. And I don't know. I YouTube should put a requirement for gaming networks to actually get a contract to partner with whoever. I know I've said that before, but I'm bringing it back up because if they want to find another machinima, they should put requirements because most of them, most of the gaming networks that are brand new, they don't get much, much attention because they don't, they're brand new, they partner people, and they just don't post the content that people that are partnered with them. Yep. And it's just, it just, it dies out. But the people that have the partnership, they just keep it, and that's them forever. That's their partnership forever. Yeah, uh, it's there's another thing, right? There's some crap ass fucking like 
there's some YouTubers out there that, like commentators, I'll, 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 I'll talk about commentators, right? Commentating sometimes can't be easy, but it's not the hardest thing in the world either. It's, it's uh, like, yourself. yeah, you talk to yourself and if you're, you know, if you're good at talking and if you're good with your voice, it should be fine. Now, I know I'd, I don't have the best voice in the world. Maybe some people don't like hearing a 15 year old likes their voice on YouTube because it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's not the best voice to be listening to. You know, but, you know, once your voice is fully developed when you're 18 and then, you know, it's kind of better to listen to. Because, you know, a lot of the bigger YouTubes out there, or YouTubers out there are, like, you know, in their mid-20s kind of thing. And yeah, that's like, their job. YouTube is their jobs. And yeah. they... and, and, those com- and the commentator voice, is, you know, is great. And, uh, you know, I may not have the best mic either. And, you know, it requires money to, yeah. you know, to have the equipment to be able to do this very well but you can still you know work with what you got and then post that crap up but anyways i'm, I'm going to talk about what i was trying to bring up just two seconds ago and then i got lost um is a crap <laughs> crap commentators out there you know like some people would like start talking about like you know they're playing like some uh zombies out there and, and, and this video's got like 15 views and then and then you, and you look at it you're like okay this may be interesting you know and then yeah. you, and then you watch it and then they're like they're like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. I just picked up uh, the Wonder Waffle. That's great. And then, and then, and then they go on and they start talking about their like cottage. Yo, I, yeah, man. The other day I caught this uh, five foot bass. And uh, and yo, okay, me and my dad, yeah, we sliced it open and it was so cool. And it's like, what the fuck? I th- I thought we were talking about gaming here. What the? Yeah, the, well, the back thing out is of that this, you, back out of this. You I'm have not to have it. You have to have a title that relates to your video. And another another gimmick that what big people uh, what big YouTubers get is that they put a fake title that has nothing to do with the video, and they get tons and tons of people to click on it, and that makes them more money. You've just been rickrolled. <laughs> and yeah, you just been like you just been like, what the hell am I watching? What? Oh man, I wanted to check out some Skyrim footage. What the fuck is this? What is this? Uh, it's that, and you put some random titles. To say um. Uh, I don't know, say something big happened on the news yesterday, and people are posting it everywhere. That, and that, that's a big example there of, uh, you know, people who put, who putting up crap, you know, stuff. You know, like, something that a lot of people would look up, they think about that, they write the title, and then you get rickrolled, and they fucking make money off that? Are, are you kidding? Well, they not they don't rickroll, they post a video about it. Okay, uh, let me take an example. Uh, uh, say a couple of weeks ago, uh, the Colorado uh, mass shooting... Yeah. Um, there was a couple of gamers out there that posted uh, their opinion on it, but their title was like Colorado mass shooting. Uh, I don't know a uh, video. Okay. But well, it was, you're, there so was, what there you're was thinking no like video. you're thinking like oh yo okay I'm gonna see the video of the actual shooting right? Yeah. And then and then and then all you get is just like this gamer talking about it. Yeah. Since it's their partner, they can customize their own thumbnail. And they can put like this Colorado mass shooting picture about it, but yeah, there's no the video. You, yeah, it's a gamer talking on top of a game, just telling his own his own opinion about it. You should put the title "My Opinion on This." Well, yeah, like you can't. That's how they make. That's another gimmick they have. They can make money off it. Yeah, and and sometimes it's actually not li- like li- li- it's not it's not because they actually thought so thought about it that way. And then they just like posted that up because they weren't actually thinking about the title well. But you, most you have most to post a big. title that is related to your video. And you have – that's that, that's part of your responsibility on being a YouTuber. At least post a title that makes sense in your video. Like, look, I have my screen up here um, of my channel and just like uh, Diablo 3, Wizard Build, CC Build and Rotation, Crowd Control Build. That's That tells you exactly – what the video is going to be about. It's going to be about Diablo 3, it's going to be a wizard build, and it's going to be about the crowd control build. And yeah, rotation. Because... And then even in there, and it says in the description, Diablo 3 defensive build, crowd control build, using for classical aspects of the wizard to crowd control mobs and keep them, and keep the, uh, keep the combat uh, fresh. And that's, that, that's exactly what the video is about, and I just explained exactly what that is, and that's, that's it. That's all you have to do. It's not hard. Whatever. Yeah, and if you're part, if you're a part of the gaming network, you can send your video in to get even more revenues, or more money. 
and you can just make tons of money just off this little title that has nothing to do with the video. Yep. My heart just goes out there for the people who uh, are really good and don't make money off off, off of YouTube. Th those who are really good and are just very small, and uh, th and there and there's some people that are actually in the middle. They're not, uh, you know, they are a YouTube partner and they are um, they are, they are a YouTube partner. And they are making money, but they're not making uh, a lot, even though they're really good. And I could name a few yeah. names, but I don't know if I should actually say it. No, but I um, no, it's just uh, you know, and that's also opinion-wise and who you think is good or not. But anyways, yeah. and then and there's opinion. some people who are really big and make money, and at some like maybe they were good once. And then once they start bringing in like money, they're just bringing in crap videos, and because people like the guy, they support him. Yeah, and, and pretty then much and, they can do they can do whatever they look, want. Yeah, you're looking at your video at their videos, and if you're like a newcomer, you'll look at it, you'll be like, "This is crap. Why does it have so many views?" You can tell when someone's not forcing on making a video. People that are big, they can make people whatever. People who make a video and take nine hours to put the work into it is pretty big, but while you can, they put comes, time into it. Like when big YouTubers like they don't they make videos just cause like they want to get the money because it's like oh my god I'm going to work today I just want to make a video because I want to get the money off of it amazing money man and you can tell them that they're not forcing it to it and they're putting a crappy video with a crappy subject and, and, and yeah. the thing about this is that we're ranting about it and makes it sound like we're pissed <laughs> and we're like we're not, we're not, why don't we we're make not money pissed. off of this we're not pissed we're just giving our opinion how YouTube has become. Uh, uh, money because YouTube spent over last year they spent over three billion dollars on gaming networks and paying partners and they spent one percent of that. Well, they spent uh, no, they spent ninety nine percent was paying partners and one percent was fixing up the YouTube website. Ew, that's nasty. <laughs> now that's you see three billion dollars on paying partners and. I don't know, a couple uh, hundred thousand just to fix up the website, and it looks, uh, I don't know, it doesn't look too, too, it's, the it's, channels don't look too, too good. It's, it's okay, and uh, some things that do piss me off, though, is that, they, you know, uh, YouTube does hiccup every now and then, you know, you're, you post a video, and then it, and then, and then after it tells you, oh, no, it, it didn't post because of this some unknown reason. And you're like, damn it! I just waited like five hours to post this fucking thing. Yeah, you and put all your hard work into it. You're excited to you're post it, you and you still have to wait for another five hours to try to repost it, <laughs> and then it may not work. God, that's like it's something else that pisses you off about YouTube. But um, when it comes to gaming communities, we could say that there's there's some guys, yes, and there's some. It, it goes both there's ways. It goes. It, it goes both ways, really. And yeah, there's some uh, people that make it, and that make it, and they have, they are pretty good. They make it. They make it for the, it's their job, but they have fun doing it. And at the end of the day, YouTube is something to have fun with. Yep. You're having fun uploading videos that you enjoy, and basically you upload videos that you want, you enjoy, and and and, and, and you put it out there, and maybe the fans will like it, and that's and that's what I that's why I do it. Yeah, me too, I do it. I put up videos that I think it's good, and I'm pretty sure my fans like it too. And, and there's another thing. I like. I'm, I'm going to be fully honest. I don't put that much hard work into videos. Like, really, I, what I do, I just... Uh, I go off of improvisation most of the time when I commentate, because com I commentate it always. I always commentate live, and I always commentate it right off the bat, and... Uh, you know, I just have to be good at improvising when it comes to that. And, um, you know, when it comes to, like, making my build videos that I've been making for Diablo 3 or, you know, farming or anything, uh, like a farming route, I just, uh, you know, I just talk about the route. And that's, you know, I st I'm still giving valid information, but it may not be, you know, fully structured, like, squeezed in as perfect as possible because I'm just, you know, going off of so something that can come straight off of my head. Just like this podcast, right? We're talking about these opinions... And it's just coming right off our head, and uh, you know it may not be uh, super structured and stuff like that. It may not. Yeah, be but great. we we've talked about it at well before, 
Yep. But right now we're just we're giving out our opinions just out of our head right now. Yep. And, and yeah. maybe you guys don't like that, so I guess you just don't watch it. I guess <laughs> whatever. But uh, you know, okay, we're trying. We're trying to bring but you all, out stuff that you but like. All in all, at the end of the day, just have fun making it. Don't make it because you need to. Don't make it because make you, it because you like to do it. Make it because you like you you want. Well, make it because you want to. Make it because you think that everybody will like it. Just have fun with it, and that's what YouTube was created to f to get videos out there that people have fun with. Yep, it's it's fun to make videos, guys. You just you just have to go out there and uh, play games that you like, and if you want to record and post it out there, feel free to. Yeah, you just have fun with it. Yeah. I think that. What do you, what, what, what do you think? Do you, do you think that concludes the topic of the of the week? Yeah, let's just conclude. Let's just conclude the video itself. Gaming networks out there. Some of them are good. Some of them are not good. Some of them die really easy. And partner people that are crap. Some of them partner people that are good and have success and have potential. And peop some of them, well, some people don't. People don't get people that are good don't get recognized out there. And I don't know. That's our just house, our, our house go out to you, whoever you yeah. are. <laughs> if you if you if you keep working at it and you keep posting videos that you have fun with, and keep pretty much keep a schedule. And you have fun with it, you'll get recognized one day, and you'll probably become the next big thing. But sadly, we can't do this off of uh, off of personal experience because we aren't that big. <laughs> but <laughs> whatever, we're doing this because we can. YouTube. So remember that when if you comment on this video saying that, what the hell, these guys are talking like they're big. Sorry, guys. We just have to because that's the way the video has to be made. We want made. to because we have fun making videos. Jeez! It's but our opinion. We don't care about anyone else. So. Yep, that's the way we, it well, is. So well, we're we gonna... do care. We do care, but it's just it's our opinion. So yep. if you hate on someone else's opinion, what it's... Is? Uh, yeah, so... We're, that's it. We're done. I don't care what, yeah. you guys, what, what, what YouTube has to say to us. We're done. We're done. We're done with you guys. <laughs> whatever. I'm just yeah, whatever. Yeah. There's joking around. <laughs> Any uh, salutations you got for anybody who might be watching, Sean? Yeah. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was basically us talking about game networks out there. And well, hope you enjoyed, guys. Remember, please subscribe. Check out my channel, youtubecom slash Well, it'll be in the description anyways, and it'll be on the video itself. Yep. And you can check out Andre's channel. And this is the host and the co host saying goodbye. And I guess I'll just have to completely conclude it because I love fucking talking. That's how I like it's, doing well, it. Well, it's because you're the host. So, yep. And I'm the co host. I'm, I'm the guy that's like, don't, that gets second. <laughs> that yeah, gets don't. second thing. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry about it. But, anyways. Um, I hope you guys liked the video, and don't forget to rate and subscribe, and this channel is hip to the kids because we are kids, and don't forget to check out whatever you have teenagers. to check out. We are teenagers, not kids. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever, you, whatever the way you like to look at it, but uh, anyways guys, see you later.